dim mode. Yeah, I need a dim mode for this life. Welcome back to another episode. Tonight I have with me Bryce from Brush Brothers Outdoors. Uh, a good friend of mine planted about 60 acres of oats in this field just to the north of us. So we are going to grab the night vision guns and the ARs and we're going to go check this field out. We may sit for about an hour or two and see what the hogs have, are doing, see if they've done any damage. Uh, they, they cause millions upon millions of dollars of damage every year, like I've said a hundred times before. So we're going to go and uh, try to prevent that this evening. He's shooting a 223, I'm shooting a 6.5 Grindle. Hopefully we will get the shot through the night vision scope. We're going to try to sneak up on them in the field if they're out there and lay some pork down. I'm tired of seeing destroyed fields, especially after this rain. we got a full moon. They should be moving pretty well. So I'm, I'd say I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready to go. Let's, get Let's it go done. shoot the pigs. seen a whole lot of anything right now uh, with the exception of that one deer we're gonna sit and wait for a little bit uh, I've got the thermosol running because the mosquitoes are already tearing us up but I can start to see the the rows of the oats coming up so it won't be too long before the hogs come through and destroy it it's starting to green up really well and with the rain that we got this last week and then the warm days that we've had the last two or three days, it'll be these oats will be coming up in a hurry for the cattle. So we're gonna wait it out a little bit longer and go check this other half of this hill, this field over here, and then we may get out of here. But we're really just playing with this new night vision scope tonight. It's a pretty cool deal. With the IR light, I can scan this entire field and see everything in it. So it's pretty amazing. We've got a full moon tonight, so it's really helping us out a lot. See any pigs? No, we don't got anything right now. There's, there's nothing. Do I? Nothing right now. Bryce is scanning the field. We're, we're trying to sit back up in this corner in the shadows because this full moon is uh, super bright. So anything that is out in the field can probably see us moving if we're not in the shadows. So we're trying to stay hidden. Just check the other uh, section of this field. We didn't see anything. We are going to go down the fence line. There is a feeder on the left. There could be some hogs there. If there are, we're going to try to shoot one. And then uh, just the other morning, my buddy told me that he saw 20 or so hogs in this field that's bordering this one that we're in right now. So far, I haven't seen any damage to the oats out here, but I can't see very far out into the field either. Um, Maybe if we don't see any down here, on our way back through this field, we'll see them. But uh, we're just going to be patient and uh, sneak down this way and check this feeder and check this other field. And hopefully there'll be some hogs.
up on us. No did way. You, did you film him? I got it. Did you film the shot? I got it. I think I got that whole thing. Dude, that sucker ran right up on us. He was from me to you. He was like feet away. Scared the crap out of me. Ran away from us, then ran back to us. Yeah, he was so close that I couldn't see him in the scope. So saw I saw him with our naked eye. Yeah, I saw him. He ran down into the valley and back up right here. And I, I heard him running back up on us and standing there. You know how pretty he is. Mm -hmm. I wonder where I hit him. Yep, I'd say you did a number. Cleaned them out, didn't we? Yes, sir. Oh, we got ourselves a dead fox. Let me turn this off. Well, we've got ourselves a dead fox. Around here, there are trillions of them. The property just down the road that I hunt all the time, but I've, I've never done any filming on it, but it's a, a place about two miles down the road. I saw seven foxes in one night. And right, that right there is predator control. Foxes will kill, uh, they will team up and they will find quail eggs and they will destroy the quail population. They will find eggs of all kinds of birds. Anything that they can get their little mouths on, they're going to uh, destroy it and eat it. So it's also important to do predator control on foxes. I'm going to cut this call back on. We're going to sneak back over here and, uh, we probably disturbed too much, but we're gonna we're gonna give it another shot anyway. We were even calling for like what two minutes. That dude came running right up on us. I mean, three or four feet away, and I thought I was gonna have to kick him. I had to like hiss at him to get him to go away. <laughs> but he, he circled around behind us and came up on a, our right side. Scared the crap out of me because <laughs> all I could hear was something running at us. So let's kick this call back on and. Uh, See if we can't get a coyote or something to come up. Holy oh, smoke around. He's that sucker's bright. bright. I just put a brand new... Okay, guys, so that fox, he came right up out of this little valley right here, and he ran right up this trail, and he stopped right here at our feet where this light is. And then I watched him. He took off running back down this way, back down into the little valley, all the way down in here. Let me just let me get around. He kept, he kept running through this little valley, and then he came back up the side where the white light is, and then he stopped right there in the road, right behind us. And uh, that was crazy. He ran right up on us. Right up on us. Both three. times. It could have been possibly two. Yeah, I know. That, this one took off so yeah. fast. Cause, but I saw him, I saw him go and then route around and back up because I could see him. The, the moon is so bright tonight, but it's absolutely crazy. There, there could have been two, but I tried whistling at him, trying to get his attention, get him to stop. It just wasn't working. But that's the, that's the thing about gray foxes is they're so curious. They're, they're so much fun to hunt, and just like the pigs, they can get overpopulated. So they wreak havoc on quail and bird eggs and... Yeah, turkey, turkey eggs. Oh yeah, and if you got turkeys on your place, turkey eggs as well. They they will do a number on your turkey population. Well, we just made it back to the house. I've already finished editing this video and realized that I forgot to film an outro. So here it is. <laughs> but the only thing we ended up seeing was the fox. And that dude ran right up on us. It was a ton of fun. I've I've had that happen to me multiple times where they'll just basically like run and jump in your lap. They were, they're pretty curious and pretty stupid, if you ask me, but sometimes they can get overpopulated and we take care of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Link down below will be this dude's channel. You can go check him out check at out. Brush Brothers Outdoors. Um, link down below also will be our Instagram at 4 Bow Hunting and Outdoors. You guys can click on that and give us a follow. Uh, we appreciate all the support, the likes, the follows, the, subs the subscribing. You guys are absolutely amazing. Keep it up. So. Um, I think this weekend we are filming with Old Guns and Chicken Strips again this weekend. I think we're going to head over to the lake and see if we can't do some bow fishing or something like that, something fun. 
Oh yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we will catch you on the next one.